Question 4 would require vehicle manufacturers to provide owners and repair shops with remote access to their vehicle's diagnostic systems. Proponents of Question 4, like CEO of VIP Tires and Service Tim Winkler, say the right to repair ultimately gives people freedom to take their vehicles to the mechanic of choice or repair it themselves. This is not just about consumer choice, it's also about affordability and access. That's the third issue is access. You have areas in Maine where there aren't a lot of car dealerships. And so for those people, they depend on their local independent repair shop to be able to do all the repairs required on their car. Representative Tiffany Roberts, who serves as House Chair of the State Legislature's Innovation, Development, Economic Advancement and Business Committee, disagrees. Passing a, you know, whether intentional or not, ill-conceived bill is, is not going to do anything but put a lot more work on the committee's hands to try yeah. to figure out what to, how to remedy any potential issues. Representative Roberts argues the right to repair already exists in Maine, thanks to previous agreements made, such as a 2014 Memorandum of Understanding requiring vehicle manufacturers share diagnostic and repair data with independent shops in all 50 states. Do you think that the agreements go far enough? I believe that they do. Um, I've spoken to everyone from industry, to dealerships, to independent repair shops who were part of the original right to repair in 99 who feel that these agreements have given them what they need. But Winkler says the agreements don't go far enough because they aren't enforceable by law, leaving the door open for violations. A memorandum of understanding really is only just that. It really doesn't provide the protection that consumers and independent repair shops need. So it's sort of like a trust process. So to assume that just putting out a, a general letter of understanding is going to address this issue going forward, I think is naive. That's We need to have a law that protects consumers' choice in where they have their vehicle repaired. And I, I believe that this law does that. Winkler also says that most new vehicles made today store certain data wirelessly, making it impossible to access information needed to diagnose what's wrong with a vehicle. One of the examples that people use is we all used to use corded headphones. Now we all use wireless headphones, right? And so car manufacturers are no different. They're starting to use technology to build a lot of wireless technology into the vehicles. If passed, question four would make that wireless data accessible through a standardized access platform such as an online portal. But Representative Roberts thinks creating that platform could be problematic. This doesn't exist. So is, is Maine supposed to create that? Like who, and then an, an independent entity created, appointed by the government, so is it independent? That has never existed, but it has very strict guidelines on who should be included, and what it should do. Maine voters will make the final decision on question four on November 7th. I'm Peter Dubois for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.